Hello everyone, welcome back to game two of our triple header night today at um, Sea Star League Counter Strike Global Offen Offensive Collegiate League Year 2017 Fall Season. Um, I am joined by, again, I'm Cameron Davis, joined by Osto. Uh, today we have another match. Um, not another, well, we have another match, but this match is going to be between U2 Austin and Texas A&M, which anyone from the South knows that is an old school rivalry. Um, Ruined by AM, we decided to go to a new division in football, but it doesn't matter because we're going to play each other in Counter Strike. Um, the knife round just happened. Everyone joined in really quickly um, at the end there, and so there's not that much time for us to go over anything. Um, I do want to say that AM are currently at 3 and 3, UT are at 3 and 2, so they're still missing a game. However, um, the team that they have yet to play, um, that they skipped over and they're going to have to remake, is a five uh, uh zero and five and so i don't think it's un uh unreasonable to expect them to get a victory out of that and so this is really for and to try and close the gap and try and keep their stance on the middle ground or austin to come back and actually the game is starting in about like two seconds so let's go my friend already happened yep, so oh, going yeah. straight into this it is going to be texas a&m versus ut austin just like you said the winner of the pistol round was uh it was texas a&m who did opt to go on the ct side so coming right out the bat we have two utility players on the terrorist side three armored players four armored players from the counter terrorist and a kit so they do have that retake potential mm -hmm. right off the bat it looks like the terrorists want to try to spread out get some information but so far nothing really being given away to either side and it looks like the terrorists are aiming up to take this towards an a side take yeah, bomb being played around there. Looks like someone got boosted up. No, Jackie Chan, he is boosted up, but... Oh, yeah, it was him. They are going to be two people taking mid. Terrace getting that mid control once again. But Smoothie here, odd Z connector. Not finding the shots, but does get information. That's going to uh, tell his team that Terrace are coming in onto the B side from Vent. Oh, Hero trading out his friend J Jay-Z walks. He's still back there on the site. Very low help. But Smoothie comes in just in time to give some backup. So Jackie Chan does whip around, get 3k for himself so far. Also gonna get the bomb plant. It's 2-1-2, two, two. the retake is possible because there- Is there a kit? They don't have a kit now, is there a kit on the site? It should be down. It should be down near the site. Okay. Okay, the kit just got picked up, so it's still possible. And woo! Yep. It's gonna happen too. Oh, come on, Mal, if he has the kit. Yeah, uh, some of the players were kind of glitching around. I'm not sure hmm. uh, if their server's having a problem. Mm, we did just see a like Sevo server smiley face. Yeah, they are talking about it because didn't know we were playing on a server made of rubber. But they are. Uh, so that will be Texas A&M taking it 1-0. Yeah, they're instantly going to buy up onto a rifle. Uh, looks like the rifle buy is coming out here. It should be a full mm -hmm. save from the terrorist side. They did get a bomb plant. All right, so not four rifles, one M4. Got and that the shoddy. Yeah, they got the they got the Nova. Let's see if we can make something happen with it. But two P250s, two smokes. Mm -hmm. Might just be trying to get this bomb down, but really just looking to survive, get over to the gun round, and try to pick it up from there. Yeah, Matthew McConaughey fan club. He's leaning a little bit more into the B side, even though the bomb is still there at garage. Hero actually playing pretty far out in the open. Little question precision with a shock against one kill. Garrett does get a second and a third. That's a lot of money for his team, leaving just Jackie Chan on the side of UT Austin. For the P250 and doesn't get anything. There's that Nova from last game you wanted to see. Woo! Well, comes up big here. Look at the money on him. 6K going into round three, but... Now should be the time for UT Austin to buy up onto their rifles. So the Nova might not be so amazing at taking down these fully armored AKs. But they do still have a uh, Matthew McConaughey fan club here. Do still have a little bit of a wall to overcome because mm -hmm. the guns on the Texas A&M side are not weak by any stretch of the imagination. The Nova even getting dropped for an M4. Hero knows what's up this round. So it's going to be a little bit of a battle, and Hero already looking to take out this three-man push over towards B-Man. Yeah, so we can just firing some shots through that smoke, getting a little bit of damage on Balto. But nothing, really, nothing of note. That fire's going to be coming in from Sunroom, though, and that smoke should be fading soon, and that 
Should Q and the T's in, but the Flash is going to stall them temporarily. Daybed taking point, but Heroes when he gets the first kill. Falls back, gets a second. Ghost getting a third for his team. Jackie Chan finally opens it up, but he soon falls, and now it's Fappy, and I just didn't even get to see the end of action because I stuck on the dead body. But really nice round once again coming in from Texas A&M. Yeah, so immediately UT Austin. Rebuys the Nova. <laughs> he did. Oh, he did it. Let's see if he can get some more kills with it. So it is just going to be another pistol round coming out here. It's just going to be UT Austin trying to trying to do trying to get a few frags, see if they can get this bomb down. But Texas A&M looking good so far, looking to get up four to zero, and UT Austin really has to claim this next gun round, or Texas A&M might just start running away with it. There is a Techno on Kevin Wild, so that may be able to do much, but Hero is going to peek out. Woo! Got a flash coming from his team, and he peeks out, gets one kill, gets a little bit of damage, can't quite, gets a second. 15 health has to fall back and is able to do so successfully. And that is going to be the bomb sticking around the B side. They still want to push in. I don't know if they know that how much damage they did, but oh, oh, Hero gets a third. Yeezus walks also up and out. Kevin Wild finally drops him, but Yeezus gets his second kill and the fifth for his team. Another great anti-ego coming in. Another 3k with the Nova. <laughs> what money is yet? Oh what money goodness. is yet? So, oh, well, he, had, he had to rebuy. He had to rebuy, to be fair. He had to rebuy, but 9 and 3 already and round 5 of the game. So UT Austin going to be looking to see if they can do anything. They do have pretty much full utility, 5 AKs, but they're going up against 3 AKs and 2 M4s. So Texas A&M stopped, stopped buying their farming weapons. They're ready just to play gun rounds from here on out. So... Unless UT Austin can get some frags on the round early on in this round, uh, it might be pretty difficult for them to steal this away from Texas A&M, who's playing pretty well so far. I don't think anyone's seen it, though. Yeah, it's just firing bullets through smoke, through walls. Seeing they can't get a little bit of lucky damage to open it up. But actually, Kevin Wild peeks out from Sun. It would take out Hero. The man who's held off the been the first contact onto the B site taken out. This is a good start for UT and looks like he's gonna throw in Molly look, trying to fake onto the B site as the bomb is positioned closer to A. Actually, all four of them are all just around the A site. Bomb drop taking it slow. Yeah, it looks like we maybe lining up some smokes here, smokes and mollies. No, they're pulling back. Actually, Jackie Chan, I guess, still waiting. He still has Oh no, he did throw his Molly. But no rotates came out, or no, no one, no one pushed out, and so I guess now they want to go into the B site. A fake, fake? It was a. F oh no, he has his Molly. What am I talking about? I don't know why I didn't see that on his kit, on his uh, kit there. I was looking at Jackie Chance here. Anyway, it doesn't matter because now they're gonna be throwing it in. Jesus, all lit up, taking down to 45. Is able to find another little sneaky spot on the site. I don't know if they'll be expecting this, UT Austin. And that flash is going to flash away. He's able to take out Fappy. Take out one. Peeks out. Falls to Jackie Chan before he can get any more. And Davey taking point. Drops Ghost at Tree Room. Bomb just barely going to be able to go down in the time limit. That's just going to be smoothie left with an AK. He has a kit, but no utility. And one versus four. He's, looks like he's going to be trying to save it. Does take out Davey. But I don't know. Oh, he should hear that reload, but he doesn't check the corner. Well, in any case, Matthew Gahani get, get their first round, 4 to 1. Trying to even up the scoreline, but AM still have enough money to buy once again. Yeah, plenty of money on the Texas AM side, and the first off going to be coming out from my. F so. Five AKs here. They were able to do some really good work last round. I think it was three players surviving in the end. Mm -hmm. So good job from them being able to just get win those fights very easily. Take the site, not drop any players, be covering their teammates. Mife actually going for a very quick pick. Gets it against Jackie Chan. That's an early man advantage against a player that's been doing great work for uh, UT Austin so far. Up five. He's currently five and five. Oh! Fappy gets tacked down to 11 as well through that. Oh my god, that was through the op shot, wasn't it? Yeah, that was through us. Uh, that was through squeaky door. Oh my god, that that's incredible. So, four versus five, man advantage over towards the CT side. No damage on anybody other than a few points on Smoothie and Hero, and it's gonna be a three versus five now. 
NM winning these 1v1 duels that have been coming out. Ghost getting another one for his team. The love has been spread around. They should leave these last two for a hero and Jesus who are on the B site. And that's where the last two people are. So maybe this will be a nice even spread. Yeah, the thing about this is it's not looking great for uh, UT Austin mm -hmm. winning this round two versus five. It'd be incredible Absolutely. if they could. But the thing is, it's going to be five to one for the CT side. Oh, let's see if they're able to get by hero real quick. I'll push into a smoke. Not going to be able to survive it. And Kevin, 22 HP and a Woo! 1v5 they do it! hero. Going to finish him off quickly. All five surviving. And now the terrorist side, not the best economy in the world. Three players under no. 3k. Two players do have enough to buy, but actually, uh, Balto actually buys up. I wonder oh. why that call was made. Oh. Maybe to try to equal out the money situation? But I'm he went too sure far. Why. Yeah, I'm not really sure what the point of buying that is. Maybe they're just going to send one AK in, see what happens with it. But honestly, I'd like to see Jackie Chan on it because we've been seeing him hit some quite nice shots. But right off the bat, looking to push over towards the B-Site hero. Holding against it, helped by his teammate Jesus. Actually, the molly coming out gets caught off guard a little bit. Actually, somebody sneaks out right by Hero. Gonna be able to find two though. Gets the man advantage back in. <laughs> gets the man oh! advantage back and also gets a 4k and game. the ace. Fantastic play from Hero. I Same. didn't need Jesus on the site. Just gets the quick headshots and. That AK buy not working out for UT Austin. Six to one favoring Texas A&M. It looks like they're going to be forcing up here now, but that has got to be demoralizing for them. Just I've, pushing through the smoke and getting completely destroyed. I feel like after the first three kills, it really to me looked like A&M was allowing Hero to get that ace. Um, it did look a bit like that. A yeah. little bit, So, but maybe <laughs> they didn't. But in any case, that is very nice teamwork. Uh, they all They have each other's back. No one steals an ace from someone else. But yeah, as you said, UT. Oh, well, actually, Jackie Chan getting the first two kills here. Coming out of garage onto mid. Hero is trying to trade that back. There's a little, and Jackie has been dropped at 50. But it's still a five versus three. This could be, oh, well, I already say that Moff does take out Davy. Holding the op at quad. I should know that. Oh, who disconnected? Yeah, I think he was dead, but. DC. I wonder oh. if it was to fix lag. Oh, yeah, it could be. I wonder. He was dead though. He was, yeah. So not too bad for. Oh yeah, and he's, back. Is. he's back. In any case, it's gonna be UT with the man advantage and the map control, leaning over towards the B site right now. We do see Hero rotating back over once they heard those vents broken. Actually, he's holding right around there. Maybe trying to. No, he's pushing up right now. Actually. He's going to onto the site entry. Hero gets two though. Gets a third. Makes leaves it in a one-on-one -on -one for his teammate. Moth coming in through the vents. He's waiting for the bomb plant, it looks. So now he knows that Balto is on the site. Checking all his corners. Oh, does not whip around in time. Does see the head peek up. But Bato gets the uh, gets the faster reaction. Takes him out. Gets a second round for UT Austin. Hero is sitting at 18 and 5, and we are nine rounds into this game. He is playing absolutely incredibly. Almost single-handedly wins his team another round. They're going to be able to easily rebuy up. And honestly, UT Austin have probably got to be a little scared there. They were sitting in a four versus two position. And in almost instantly, it became a 1v1. Yeah. So they have really got to keep in mind that this monster on the other team is lurking around the corner. And they do have four AKs up. Fappy actually not able to rebuy. So that uh the few extra kills actually do hurt the team but gonna push through with the tech nine gets an op for his trouble so four versus five man advantage it's currently only ghost on the site smoothie rotating in from highway but right now it looks like the terrorists want to go towards the site and they do have the numbers to do it yeah we see david and she's on the side but this ghost is gonna be the first kill but trade it out finally taken out jackie chan also getting a kill onto smoothie and david with a nice shot under the head of yeezus Peeks out, finishes off for his team. Bomb plant also goes down. Very good round coming up from UT. Looks like they shook off the jitters that were holding them back the first few rounds. 
Yeah, now six to three. You, um, Texas A&M not with the best economy to buy up here. Uh, only two players able to comfortably buy, and it looks like it's just going to be a light pistol buy for them. Mm -hmm. So UT Austin having the opportunity to stabilize, be able to close that round gap a little bit. Balto actually going for an extremely passive angle, but it do doesn't look like it'll matter as all five counter terrorists looking to actually boost over, try to catch off the terrorists a little bit, but they're ready for this. So it doesn't seem like this play is going to be too effective at first. But if they push through and get into garage and get a few picks, this round could go their way. I don't expect it to go their way, but if they get a number of kills, it's definitely a success. Hero should be hearing these people pushing up into A main, just right in those stairs. And if he times it right, he could drop and get a couple of kills. It's David who actually gets the first, though, out from garage. He just speaks out to see if he can't get a trade onto that. It's going to be two members from UT coming in onto the site. Oh, and Hero from behind. Bides his time. Gets one. Gets a second. Eaves it up from a three on three. And now they know where the bomb is. Though it is pulling back into mid. Let's see if Yeezus can't catch them off guard. He hears them. Oh. Yeah, he does hear them walking around. I don't know if he knows that that player was boosted up. But he could get a nice headshot. Gets one. Cannot get a second. But a two on two. Armor and one ghost even picked up an AK. Oh, smoothie, you almost got taken out. But now they know that there is no one on the beast. Oh no! Ghost is able to take out before he can even get into the vents. That just leaves Fappy left with an AK. He has the bomb and he is on the site. So he should be able to get this bomb plant down at least. Yeah, but he hears that vent break as well, and so he knows that they should be coming. Well, at least one is coming from that direction. He's holding the site. Onto the site, making sure he's blocking off at least one viewpoint. So he's going to get taken out from one angle at a time. Smoothie doesn't check. But for it, he hears the other player. Oh, just barely doesn't finalize. Ghost down to eight health, who's able to get the defuse. There is a timeout coming in, and I'm curious if that is because of any sort of lag issues that allowed Aggies to come back into this round. You know, the difference between you and me, Kim? Yeah. I believed. <laughs> That's true. That is true. I did not believe. But it happened. Yeah. I mean, honestly, that was a round that never should have gone UT Austin's way. Mm. Or never yeah, should have gone uh, yeah. Texas A&M's way. It should have gone UT Austin's way. Really, I guess the thing that really threw them off was, I guess when um Hero actually dropped down from drop into mm -hmm. A-Main, mm -hmm. I guess it sounded to them like it was just one of their teammates following up behind them. Yeah, because so there was one behind him. Check. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, there was one behind him who actually wasn't able to. I, I don't know if he wasn't looking that he way. Wasn't, he wasn't. He didn't why. round the corner in time. Oh, that's what it was. But yeah, honestly, that was just incredible stuff. Being able to completely open the round, get some rifles for his teammate, and Ghost winning it out in the end there. That two v one, especially, they play it safely. They push together. They cover each other's corners, and then right there in the end, Ghost training his teammate perfectly and stealing them around. Yeah, it was close. He was down to eight health. But yeah, close. I'm still bringing it back. Uh, who? Who is other disconnected? Um, Jackie it Chan. It was Jackie Chan. Yeah, it's like he's maybe restarting his computer, restarting his client. If Jackie Chan's not able to get back in here, it's not looking great for mm, UT yeah. Austin. He was playing very well. Yeah. But honestly, Hero is sitting twenty and seven. <laughs> Yeah. He has, oh, oh, wow. Yeah, no one on his team has even reached double digits yet. And he here he is more with 20 kills. The, kills. Entirety of the, yeah, the entirety of the enemy team. Oh, oh. He has almost, almost as many kills as the entirety of his team. Yeah, oh, know, okay. Well, Jackie Chan. Jackie Chan ruins it. Go. Come on. See? He balances it out. They I mean, kind of. Gods. Not much. It's 20 nice. zero and 7 on the 10th round. That's unfortunate. Oh, and they're resuming, too. Oh, 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 no. did you drop it again? Oh, no. Oh, okay, they problemed it. Okay, they re they re they, they re paused it. Oh, so Jackie. Got to wait a little bit longer. Honestly, though, this game is... Yep. It looks like it's very back and forth, but Texas A&M, that is a round they really should yeah. not have won. And the fact that they did could just determine this half all on its own. If they can get this round, they've pretty much just got the half because... 
uh, UT Austin was trying mm -hmm. to use that round to just build up a little bit more of their economy, just try to close it out quickly, get the economy in the bank, just keep going forward. And with Texas A&M able to recover that, uh, recover that round, if they can win this run, it'll completely reset UT Austin. God, I'm just, I'm still, I'm still stuck on Hero dropping down like that and being able to get two kills with his five seven without them even knowing what was going on. Yeah, the thing like, that makes it so perfect is that he dropped down at the perfect time. I know, I know. Like, did, was that luck? Did he know what was going on? Uh, I gotta imagine it was, it was somehow, it was probably luck. It was, yeah. Like, that's that perfect of timing. He couldn't have known. Yeah, just it's, it's situations like that that are just super unfortunate for the team that falls prey to it. But hey, that's oh, actually, that's Counter Strike. Three Counter Terrorist players already pushing into B main. It's only Kevin holding off against this. Goes for the spray against one. It's gonna be Hero to come out ahead and of immediately come on, shit Counter Terrorist love. falling back. Yuse is actually being smoked off. Curious if they're smoking off highway. That's an unusual position. Uh. Try and block vision from. They do break up in vents. Maybe they're trying to fake access onto the B site. We do see Fappy here coming in. I'm going to squeak on A. See if we can't find anything. Maybe pull a fake or something. There's two people also coming in from mid. Balto peeks out. Finds Yeezus with a nade his hand. But no one's watching Z. Ghost gets a double spray down. Him and Smoothie there both to hold it off. It's just Fappy and Jackie Chan left. Fappy is flashing himself out with the Tech 9, trying to find something, but my just mouth just shoots through the smoke. So it takes him out. It's just Jackie Chan left. 5 HP. I don't know if Smoothie knew that he ran into him. But, oh, Jackie Chan actually gets the better of that. But he's only at 9 health. He gets another one! He's at least doing good damage. Yo! Oh, I actually thought he was gonna get that one. I actually thought he was gonna get Hero. He actually got Hero. He had a really good it shot. Mouth only had an op, so. Yeah. Missed the shot. You're pretty much done. So, phenomenal play from him, but. Not able to pull it, pull off the miracle there, and honestly, I don't really like the CT's aggression over MB main that round. It really it worked out for them, but in that situation, you're kind of expecting you know SMGs or pistols, or expecting them to be on a like a save or a mini force after resetting them, and to just push close range with the with the rifles, you're really giving them the opportunity to just grab the grab some guns, grab some economy that they wouldn't have otherwise been able to get. Yeah. So it works out for them, but I'm not sure I like the uh, situation that they pulled it off in. But Ghost getting a 3k, he's, he doesn't care what I think about his plays. Kevin does trade him out, two versus four, and not really too much ooh, to do ooh, here. Jackie ooh. gets another one for himself. Yeah, he can get the bomb plant now. He goes quickly. Oh, he's actually gonna fake it out like he's trying for something. Come on, man, what's going on here? That is just un. That is just extremely uh, unfortunate. If he went for the, you see the thing is, I think if he didn't fake it and he just went for it, I think the nade still would. The nade would have. Then you're him. right. The nade would have, but the decision to not was. The nade had nothing to do with the decision to even fake it, and so it's just, I think. Mm. Well, I think yeah, I, I like his decision there. He knew that there were players nearby. He knew if he stuck the plant, he was dead. So. But he was dead. He was at like the... nine health and one versus three on a save round. Well, I mean, the players were closing in on him. Close mm. range. If he was able to hit the headshot, he had a P250. Mm. So close range P250. That's a, that's a one hit KO. Yeah. I don't know. I, I I'd still put priority on the bomb plant over getting another exit, but it was a sticky situation to begin with. Uh, who knows what goes into players making situations in such a clutch round. Um, but now that UT or Austin are back on another rifle round, even see Balto with the up oh, trying to peek out a main. It's gonna be Moth holding angle. Does see the feet and even double scopes just to get that kill. You're also peeking out, taking out Kevin Wow as well. Five versus three right now. Ooh, Fappy does grab the op, but that is not before Ghost takes out David at mid. Fappy got flashed out and has to fall back. I don't know if they expect Smoothie though to be pushing in. The garage, he does hear both of these players, so he knows they're both center-ish of the map. It's an awkward angle, it's, it's not an awkward angle, but it's a weird angle to hold this late into the map, uh, into the map, the round. Whoo! Finding my words. But your tears sneaking around. a and know that they're going onto the B-ish side. They're leaving one player onto A just in case. But three versus, uh, three versus two shouldn't be too difficult for them. Flash! Smoothie also gets flashed and isn't able to take a shot before he falls back into checkers. 
But he's peeking out. Oh, he sees one player, gets the headshot, gets the second shot onto it. Yeezus finishes off Jackie Chan. Yeah, no, this is not looking good for UT Austin at all. 10 to 3, and they're forced down into a pretty bad situation. Probably just going to go for the semi buy. Try to get the guns out next round, make it 11 to 4, but Texas AM is just running away with it at this point. And unless UT Austin can pull off this last, these last few rounds and try to get a good start on the second half, it's going to be hard for them to pull off a win. Jackie Chan with the forest buy up. Curious to see why he did that. Maybe there's a little bit of miscommunication. He is down to 500. Hero, as we see, up on box. Now he is falling back now. Taking a little bit of aggressive position. Just gets any terrorist pushed up. But that's going to be Smoothie holding mid. I don't know. I guess he instinctively thought that the vents weren't already broken. But UT taking it slow. Taking it methodical. They don't want to get... They're continuously caught out and they want to try and stop it. There's Balto on to mid with the Deagle. He's going to try and make it... Oh, does not get it, but he does actually land on David. But it doesn't matter because so Ghost is able to get the triple spray down. Moff also takes out Jackie Chan. It's just Fappy left. He is able to pick up a Galil for himself, but can't do anything with it. Aggie's up 11-3. Yeah, just not looking good at all. Uh, UT Austin going to get Ooh. one more buyout here. Going to be able to get the guns out to try to fight against Texas A&M, but it's just such a dominant performance from Texas A&M. Even though the buy is going to be pretty good here, I don't see UT Austin being able to actually come out and win it. And honestly, I think that Texas A&M might just take this game from here. Yeah, I can't imagine what sort of mental state UT Austin are in right now. Left here. Really aggressive positioning. It would take a Balto. Take him off guard. Not expecting someone to be holding such a forward position, particularly with an op. But AM have been doing stuff like that all game long. That's what's been giving them the round lead that they have. That Fappy knows that there's a player at White Box. Is he able to get the flick? Oh, there he goes. Gets it. Takes out Ghost, who has been pretty good at holding off mid for AM. So this could open up that part of the map for them. But rather, they have more positioning on... Nope, I lied. B terrorists are falling back onto mid. Looks like they can go take mid. It's just moving here. Oh, he sees some players. that He gets the information and falls back. Going to hand over mid to the terrorists. Kevin. And David pushing forward. Map gets one. Smoothie gets the other. He just leaves Fappy and Jackie Chan. The second part of the flank. But not, not there in time. Smoothie takes out Fappy. It's just Jackie Chan left. I can't get the kill. Gets tagged out a little bit. Jackie Chan is able to get one before Moth finishes it off. That's going to be the 12th round for Texas A&M. And honestly, at this point, it's it's looking pretty pretty dire for UT Austin. Three rounds, and they got to bring it all the way back. They need to play 13 rounds in a row without giving any up to be able to take this into a win. They have... Ooh, your mic Two is... mistakes that are allotted. I mean, I can understand you, but you're sounding very, very robot -y. Yes, that's you as well. It's the server. Huh? It's the server. Oh, is it? Okay. We're better now. Oh, hey, yay! So, it's 12 to 3, and it's not looking great right now. You see uh, us and be able to get a hit uh, in tomorrow here, but... Also... <laughs> it's not you can do anything about this. Yeah. Server. Unfortunate. In any case, needless to say, UT need this pistol. Yeah, honestly, the way they've been playing lately, I see Texas a and they take this pistol, I just see them winning out from here. Yeah. This is actually David gets the first kill, and T's all blinded. Ooh. Fabi gets a second. This is a good start for UT, and that B-Sec is working out for them. Smoothie is only the first person to get on the team to get a kill, and he is the only one left. Has to pull back. He does have the bomb, and so he has a little bit of more maneuverability with him to try and do something with this round. But one versus four. Hey, hey, hey. We didn't believe them. But hey, UT may be able to... They definitely get the pistol. Only lose Fappy, so a nice pistol round for them. But it's up to them to keep this streak going. They are eight rounds behind. They cannot afford to lose 
I mean, they can afford to lose like one or two depending on where they are in their economy, but they definitely, if they get reset now, it's basically over. But. Yeah, hmm? they are forcing on credit if they can do anything with it. Um, it's gonna be free SMGs on the T2 side. They need a little money for themselves. The UMP is not a bad gun in any situation, but it's gonna be difficult for Texas AM to win this round off the yacht unless a major mistake is starting. Who this uses walks? Yes, it is at mid with the P250 trying to find something. Uh, UT actually have no presence mid. They Balto was there, but he took a little bit of damage and was not comfortable sticking around. Decides to fall back just to play it safe. They know they have the rifle advantage. But going onto the site where close quarters more likely to close quarter engagement more likely to happen maybe a risky decision. But he's going to push him forward onto highway. There are two people here on him. Oh, sees hero boost it up. Those are the second player. Does get the double spray down. Well, also gets one. Balto trying to push forward, get more. He gets a third. Off of Jackie Chan. And hold on a second, everyone. I am getting invited to another Discord, I believe. Do do do. Ah. Here we go. Okay. Yeah. Better? So fix the fix the robot a little bit there. Ooh. Hey, so. Head character. It did added a little pizzazz. So, yeah, Texas A&M just looking to maybe try to get a ball plan out of this round. Not really in a prime position to win at UT Austin. Did get the first two rounds. Looks like they're going to be making this 12 to six unless Texas A&M can pull something off here. It's only Kevin with the MP9 does spray down Jesus to 16 though. So they, the terrorists definitely have a shot at pushing it, pushing out onto the site and getting the bomb plant, but they have to hit their shots onto these two players. Yeah, they're actually pushing through the newly placed smoke flash. It's going to allow them a little bit of access onto it, but Jackie Chan and Kemuel not allowing them anything. Mouth the only one gets a kill and he has to fall back. No armor, just a BG-50. Doubtful he gets anything else and he does not. And Kevin with the MP9 farming up so much money for himself. Mm -hmm. You can see 7k for him, mm -hmm. but now... The gun's actually going to be coming out here from Texas A&M, and this is the moment we've been dreading for uh, UT Austin. Are they going to be able to hold off here against the firepower of Texas A&M? Balto on the op. Kevin, I believe, still on his M4. Or, no, he's actually on the UMP. So, who is going to come out ahead in this round? He is getting boosted up mid. Does find the connection onto Balto. So yes, not looking good so far for UT Austin. Kevin also knows that one player at A main those shots rank through. My trying to find someone else does get the second flick on Jack and Jan. Very nice job taking control of mid. Yeezus is pushing forward, flashing himself onto highway, trying to find some engagement onto A. And it's just Kevin on the side, pushes forward aggressively, getting the first kill. Trying to get a second, but he knows his players behind him. Cannot get the drop on them, though. Davy actually also can't even get a kill for himself. Just Fappy left. With the op. Gonna molly behind himself just in case. Does not get the kill on him off. With uh, was that a no scope? No, no, it wasn't. Mm. I don't know, it was not. Um so just fantastic play from Mouth that round, just pushing out, yeah. being able to get the first pick and then followed up with two more for his team, just completely opening up the entire map for the terrorist side and UT Austin just not able to hold their defense against it. And this round is actually very crucial because if Texas A&M is able to take it this round, mm -hmm. UT Austin's economy is gone and that'll be Texas A&M on the 14th round playing against Danico. Yeah. So it's going to, be, going to be decisive here. And if they do decide to go over towards B, Davey is the only one over there. So it's a little bit of a stack over towards this A site and... So far, the terrorists are lining up over towards it. Still looking for info, though. Oh, it's forward. More sprays happening through walls, but nothing found just yet. Moff. He does smoke up Z connector and push for it. Where the tech nine checks Jackie Chan's corner, does find it. Yeah, you know, but it twitched it off and get a second kill for himself on a fappy. Should be beating himself that he allowed that to happen. And there's goes he gets another one to Balter at mid. Last rounds of UT are stuck in one versus ones. Nowhere to go around it. Kevin does get one before dropping to Yeezus. 
But Ghost finalizes the last kill on the debut. They only lose one player. And they're on their 14th round. Yeah, now the economy from the CT side is just almost entirely gone. It's going to be a tall ask for them to be able to fight their way back into it. It doesn't even look like they're buying into it. It looks like they want to play for OT. So unless they can... I'm, I'm going to imagine they're going to push together. That's probably the best play this round. Hey, look at, the, yeah. look at that. <laughs> so it's going to be everybody going towards mid. And actually, they might be able to get a few, a few frags out of this. But the two players, they do hear this so oh but the boost coming out up 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 oh he sees the head he sees the head and actually oh, wants to fight this now takes the first the incense actually going to go down that's pretty bad for the counter terrorist side they're trying to do whatever they can ghost spraying down to hero gonna come through for another one jackie gets one but ghost with yet another 3k and UT Austin, they need to play perfect Counter-Strike from here on out. They need nine rounds in a row, and then they need to win it in overtime to take this game. And right now, it looks like it's pretty safe to just call this Texas A&M's game. Two ops out on Fappy and Melf. Balto not picking it up this round, so let's see if Fappy can maybe stop Melf from opening up the entire map for his team yet again. I feel like, as an alumnus of UT Austin... I have a contractual obligation to root for them. But, yeah, and I've been playing spectacularly right now. UT Austin constantly losing these duels that they off themselves into. Balto is going to be here, and with his sense of hearing, does get some information for his team. And now Ghost also spraying through on the corner. Gets a little bit of damage onto him. But more so, Balto knows there's a player there. He's actually trying to take that fight! But he loses it. Yet again, putting his team on the back foot. Oh, are we a little bit like Okay, we're good. Oh, they're taking out Fappy. These aim duels constantly going into the way of A and M. They're not really going to find much. But it's going to be UT. Playing pretty conservatively. Pretty far back. Davey actually wanted to peek out. Does get flashed. By, uh, does it flash out by his teammate. But Hero's the one to get a kill. Kevin Wow does find one for his team before falling. A little bit of a crossfire set up. Not so much. Oh. And a and gets their 16th round and win this game. Putting themselves at, what is it, 4-3 and three for the season right now? Yep. They are doing pretty well for themselves so far. And honestly, that game was just very one-sided. UT Austin tried to do what they could, and yeah. they got off... They did snag a few rounds and started to get something going for themselves, but it seemed like after that eco round win, it, it slipped away from them. They just weren't able to recover it after that point. Um, it honestly, I think that I think that it was really just down to a lot of individual skill and a lot of teamwork from the Texas A&M side. You could see whenever one player died on that team, it seemed like at least one other player was set up to take advantage of that or was set up to play yeah. off it or just do something to recover the round for themselves. And in UT Austin's case, when the player died, it just seemed like no one was really able to capitalize off it most of the time. And that ended up losing them most of the rounds and in the end of the game. Yeah, unfortunate for them. They do still have another match. Try and make this up, put themselves at a uh, four and three end of their season um and again this is only the first half we still have next semester um play uh see uh, what, what what should we what do these call these split like split the spring, the spring split season well this is all one season oh oh the fall season and the spring or the winter season and the spring season oh okay well they still the have next fall. season before they enter uh playoffs for the end of it and so ut if they do make up some of these uh, difficulties that we've highlighted could come back and still have a chance to make it into playoffs. But in any case, uh, good game, both teams, excellent game, Texas A and M. And also, uh, once I, I I'm pretty sure I know your answer to this question, but who do you think is the band gaming MVP of the game? It's actually a little bit difficult because if it's you true, judge it it, if you ju judge it based off the first half, you pretty much like hands down say it was hero. Oh, you absolutely. Just, like completely decimated the enemy team in the majority of rounds. But once you got onto the T uh, onto their T side, 
it was really Malf and Ghost that were just coming through. Malf just continuously opened up every mm -hmm. single round, being able to get multi kills with his op. Honestly, I'd have to say, I'd have to still go with Hero though, yeah. because in the first half he was just so impactful getting them yeah. off and. It just strung them so many rounds together. So Mouth did a phenomenal job in the second half, but I think that honestly, I think Hero just got more rounds to play with on the first half than Mouth Yeah, they just went getting. to his site, and so a little bit, a little bit yeah. unlucky there for. Uh, but yeah, no, as you said, he, uh, Hero, Mouth, and Ghost, all three played spectacularly. Um, and the fact that we even have to debate that. Yeah, exactly, very, exactly, exactly. Very good for Texas A&M. Yeah, so they are definitely in, in a good spot. Um, I hadn't seen the games that they had lost, but who knows? Maybe this, maybe, uh, that was just a little bit of growing pains right now. And then if they, if they continue to play, like we saw here next, uh, next season and during the spring, going to be very, uh, interesting to follow and see if they can't, because they're in the middle of the pack right now. Interesting to see if they can't come up and try and, uh, and get the head of that pack and be one of the teams to make it in playoffs from their region. Um, it's going to be it for us for now, but first. Well, because we do have another game coming up in about 40 minutes, and so we want to close down and get everything set up for that. But first, um, shout out to Band Gaming, so, uh, the social network for gamers. Um, definitely check them out, but also to Twitch. Thank you guys so much for uh, sponsoring us, as well as other collegiate esports organizations. Uh, you all know Twitch. Twitch is, you're on Twitch right now if you're watching us. Twitch is amazing. Um, and so, But definitely... You know, try and support them whenever they can because they do great stuff for the esports industry. Um, I'm Cameron Davis. This is Osto. This is unless we have unless we're called in to do any sort of makeup games next week. Um, as far as I know, this is gonna be uh, uh, my last broadcast of the season. Do you have any word on any sort of makeup games? Uh, we might have some in the. Few. We might have some. Maybe but we don't know yet. Nothing, but for if us is scheduled yet. yeah, nothing scheduled yet. But and so if there is nothing, thanks everyone for tuning on us. Hope you've enjoyed the show, and we will see you next spring. Have a great night, and uh, don't get anywhere because again, we do have another match: UC Berkeley versus SJSU, victors of last year's um entire competition. So definitely tune into that. Um. But that's going to be it for us. Ben, Sam, and Ken are on separate journeys to defeat the menacing vile dragon. But let's just say luck isn't on their side. If only there was a way for them to find each other and band together. Well, that's why there's Band. It's a mobile app that allows people to come together using common interests. With Band, you can find fellow gamers, chat, schedule gaming sessions, and conduct polls. Stage epic battles with friends while sharing videos and photos along the way. So try Band today. Band. Be together.